Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss the gradient descent algorithm and stochastic version of gradient descent algorithm. And then we will discuss the difference between these two algorithms. In the previous video, I have already discussed what is uh, gradient descent, how delta rule is derived with respect to gradient descent. Link for that video is given in the description below. Now uh, we will continue with uh, the gradient descent uh, algorithm. This is how the gradient descent algorithm looks like. So the gradient descent algorithm expects uh, two parameters. The first parameter is the training example and second one is the learning rate. The training example is of the pair uh, x, comma t where x is the vector of input values and t is the target associated with that particular example. And then n is the learning rate which is usually set a uh, very small number uh, which will determine what should be the factor to which that particular uh, the weight should be updated and so on. So it should be small number and it should not be very small also because if we have a very small number uh, it may happen that uh, it will take a lot of uh, time to converge to the proper weights and if you take a large number it may happen that uh, you, you, it may not converge also. Next uh, what we need to do here is uh, we need to initialize each of these uh, particular weights for example if we have some uh, n number of uh, input variables we need to have n number of weights all those particular weights we need to initialize with a small random value in this case. Once you initialize uh, all these uh, inputs uh, a small random number next what we need to do is uh, unless and until a termination condition is uh, satisfied that is nothing but. Uh, after every iteration we perform something called as uh, we calculate something called as error uh, if that error is acceptable uh, then we stop executing or updating the weights otherwise we will go on doing these particular steps again and again that's the one termination condition the second termination condition may be the number of epochs for example if i set the value of epoch is equal to 5 these steps will be executed 5 number of times after the fifth iteration whatever the value you will get for the weights that will be the final weights so that is how actually this termination condition will be determined in this particular case now uh, what we do in this particular set uh, steps is we update the weights so what is the weight uh, updation equation is this is how it looks like wi is equal to wi plus uh, delta wi uh, where this wi is the old weight to this particular old weight uh, we add the uh, can say that the change in weight that change in weight is always equivalent to n that is learning rate uh, summation of uh, td minus od over all training examples multiplied by xid where td is the target output od is the calculated output and xid is the dth input in this particular case so once you get this delta wi we will add it to wi to get the new weight in this case now how to do this particular thing uh, is written in this particular steps over here first we will initialize this delta wi to 0 for every iteration before we continue or uh, calculate the new weights we will initialize this to 0 here first next what we do is we will take one example at a time for that particular example what we do is uh, let us say that the first example i have considered what i do uh, learning rate multiplied by target minus uh, calculated output multiplied by x1 in this case so that is what i will do similarly i will go back and then i will take the second one that is nothing but what once again n multiplied by t2 minus o2 x2 so that is the second input so the same thing will be repeated again and again and that partial error will be added to this particular delta wi so initially it is zero after seeing the first uh, uh, in example it will become delta wi is equal to delta wi plus that error when it sees the second uh, input it will become delta wi is equal to previous error plus the second uh, example error the same thing will be done for all the inputs in this case once all the inputs are over we will get the final uh, the change in weight that particular change in a weight will be added to this particular wi that is written here for each linear input weight that is wi wi is equal to wi plus delta wi what we have calculated in the previous step over here so this delta wi is calculated over all training examples once it is calculated we will add the delta wi to the previous weight we will get the new weight in this case so this is how uh, the gradient descent algorithm works in this case now coming back to the second one that is the stochastic uh, version of gradient descent algorithm before we go to that particular thing first uh, we will see what is the disadvantage over here 
The disadvantage in this case is uh, this error or the change in weight is calculated for uh, by considering all examples in this case. So, for example, if you have some uh, uh, thousand number of examples, you have to do this particular thing for all the thousand examples, you will get the change in weight that you have to update here. And then you need to calculate the, uh, we need to see whether the termination condition is satisfied or not. If not, again, we have to calculate the change in uh, the change in weight over all training examples and then we have to add it here. So that will take a lot of time and uh, sometimes what happens is it may not converge to the final weights over here. To avoid that particular thing, there is another uh, algorithm is there that is called as uh, the stochastic version of uh, gradient descent algorithm over here. The algorithm looks exactly similar to the previous one. The only difference in this case is this WI is calculated by considering the error with respect to current example. That's it. So what we do here is uh, first we will, we will initialize this uh, WI to a very small random number and then until the con termination condition is satisfied, we calculate this particular delta WI is not required in this case. So this step we can avoid. For each training example, what we do is uh, we will calculate this particular error term that is uh, n into t minus o into xi that error term that will be added to your uh, weight here so that you will get the change in weight in this particular case. So that, that has been shown over here also that is wi is equal to wi plus delta wi. Delta wi is equal to what in this case? We calculate error only with respect to the ith input and then we will add it to the previous weight so that you will get the modified weight over here. So this is uh, the stochastic version of uh, gradient descent algorithm in this case. Finally, we will see the difference between gradient descent and the stochastic version of gradient descent algorithm. As I said earlier, the uh, error is calculated by considering all examples uh, in gradient descent and that error term is used to update the weight. In uh, stochastic gradient descent algorithm, we consider only the current example and based on the current examples error, we will update the weights in this case. In every iteration, because we are considering all examples to update the weights, uh, it will take a lot of time. That's a gradient descent algorithm will take a lot of time. But uh, stochastic version of uh, gradient descent algorithm will take less time because it will update the weights by considering the individual examples. Uh, as I said earlier, because we are considering all examples, it may not converge uh, to a global minima. It may work with uh, local minima, but you may not get to a glo glo global minima in gradient descent. But when it comes to stochastic uh, gradient version, um, as we are doing weight updation for every input, if you have multiple number of local minima also, it will, it will definitely come to a case where uh, we will achieve that particular global minima in this particular case. So that is possible in stochastic version of a gradient descent algorithm. So in this video, I have discussed uh, what is gradient descent algorithm and uh, stochastic version of gradient descent. I hope uh, the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.